about uh, a little bit over three months since I initially got my tromba trombone and I thought I would give it the uh, post three month review. Okay, so where do we start? Um, I have to say, uh, bottom line is I don't like the trombone at all um, and I kind of wish I'd never bought it. Uh, and let me tell you why. Uh, the thing that I probably hate the most is um, the, the black condensation droppings. So what you find when you play a tromba trombone is that this uh, carbon fibre slide is constantly shedding uh, small amounts of itself and this appears in the condensation of the instrument. Whenever you, um, you know, empty the water key, uh, especially on a white surface, you can see that it's slightly grey with all of the, um, the pieces of the carbon fibre in the condensation. I found that the water key um, drips all the time. So as I'm playing, if I'm playing quite a bit, and I've, I've been using this instrument basically once a day since I've had it as my warm-up instrument, is that it will leave a whole series of these grey drops all over the ground where I'm playing uh, because the water key isn't sealing um, absolutely. The, the slide um, uh, has really never got any better. I was kind of expecting the slide over time to get slightly better. I looked up different ways of lubricating the slide. Um, there was a way out there of using uh, slide oil, which I purchased, but it's, nothing's really made it better. In fact, the best way to operate the slide was to have absolutely nothing on it at all. But um, even then, it's still rather grippy. Um, it's better up uh, close to the first three or so positions, but even then they're not great. And certainly down, um, you know, in five, six, seven position, it's pretty terrible. Also, it makes a lot of noise. So I, I just found the slide for me is just not very good at all. Uh, this rather nasty wear occurred. So if you can see that there, it's just not very nice at all. So these, I assume these are brass, um, stocks at the end of the slide and you can see there there's some nasty corrosion occurring and that's only after three months. The tuning slide, I, you know the tuning slide is so um, uh, what can I say, loose in its fit that if you set a tuning uh, function it, after a while it just ends up coming back to the um, original all-in position so you can't you know, very easily set the tuning. I mean, it actually looks pretty good there now, but what I found is pretty much every time I pick the horn up again, it's always up at um, all the way in. The sound, so uh, it actually speaks reasonably well and easily at low volume at the, in the low register. But in, you know, that, that's from like B flat down, but from F, and the next partial, B flat partial, it actually speaks, it's very difficult to make it speak, and so it's very hard work to make it play uh, in these partials. So like, difficult I'm working very hard to make those uh, notes sound at all uh, so it's the range of the instrument is you know it's very inconsistent you know sometimes it speaks well sometimes it's extremely dead the instrument is relatively in tune naturally so actually when it's all the way in and I play a B flat um, but the F is extremely flat problems with it I I find that you know if it's all the way in you know screwed all the way back then it it doesn't lock so you basically got to completely unlock it and then use it now it locks but I don't know it just seems counterintuitive I would have thought that you would unlock it all the way you'd, you'd tighten it up all the way and then you could lock from there so I'm kind of I think it's it doesn't seem to work right to me so I think there's a design issue there. And the connector, there's been a couple of cases where 
you know, the, the trombones come apart on me while I'm playing. So, look, I suppose it's not such a big deal with a plastic trombone. If that falls on the ground, you just pick it up again and put it in. It's just, you know, it's just not cool. I, I suspect that it really, for it to be, you know, a useful instrument, I would like to see it have a lock so that it, I wasn't kind of worried about it um, uh, falling apart. Because in many cases, you know, when I'm walking around, I'll carry a trombone like this so I can do something else. At the moment, with this horn, you know, that could easily fall off and the slide um, would hit the ground. So I'm unhappy about that as well. Um, the stand, however, the stand's great. No issues with the stand whatsoever. I like the fact that it, it folds down completely, you know, breaks apart. And one thing I didn't mention is I'm using a regular brass mouthpiece, not the plastic mouthpiece. Um, I did that because I just found it wasn't, it was with the plastic mouthpiece, you know, I found the instrument wasn't speaking very well and I thought, well, maybe if I include a brass mouthpiece, it'd be just that little bit easier. And I suppose it is a little bit easier, but even then it's still not easy enough to make this a, a useful working trombone. As a learning trombone, I would say no either because it just makes it so hard for you to work. Um, I think most students would probably end up giving up the instrument. All right, there you go, trombone, trombone, stay away. Boom.